tattoos are supposed to be uh, not just for fashion, um, but okay, unfortunately, it has become a fad in fashion now. Um, they started since some uh, centuries. Uh, it was a it was a long, long time back when tattoos started um, coming into play for us human beings. Now, what happens is if if you start making tattoos on your arms or on your legs or on your on your upper body or like back side of your body, it's pretty okay. But there has to be some message. There has to be some kind of a I would say story behind it. Uh, what do you want from this tattoo? This tattoo means something for me, or it's just a piece of uh, uh, show off. So when you want to show off something, everything's all right. You know, you can go for anything from A to Z. But if you want a kind of a message for yourself, not for others, for yourself, tattoos for you, not to show off again. But if it's a show off thing, do it. But if it's for you, good. Use this and use this. So now, um, for example, um, there was a girl. She wanted to do uh, a moon cycle tattoo on her on her arm. Um, she showed me some photographs, and she asked me if if it's okay because there was like uh, the new moon cycle, the full moon cycle, and the, the the going off of the moon, you know, into into zero level cycle. I explained it's it's not an idle thing because if you do. This moon cycle here, that means this moon cycle is going to be affecting your meridians. So we all have meridians in our bodies. So it's not just taking a, a machine and, and, and just starting, you know, to do something on your hand or as you spoke on your body limbs or on your upper body or back of your body. That's not the right way from my side, from my side. Because the meridians, they get affected because of the meridians of our bio or like bio energetic fields it's inside of us gets affected our auras it's around us gets affected our moods they get affected so it depends what kind of a thing you want to have like i don't know if people know about this that moon cycles they represent even the in a cycle, in a body. So for example, a female, she, she goes through periods. So it's, it's like a cycle. Okay, now, uh, I don't know if you know uh, that even uh, males, they have periods. Do you know about this? Even males have periods. A news for you all. Females, they have periods you can see. They can see. The males have periods you can't see because it happens internally. And that's the reason why both the sexes have mood swings. It's not just because she's having periods, so she has to go through. And he, he's a man, he does not have any mood swings and because he does not have periods, wrong. Even men have, you can't see that, it's internal. So if these tattoos are, are being uh, carved somewhere, they directly affect these cycles now uh, just watch when there's a full moon day the waves they, they 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 go really really high why why because there's a magnetic pull now how much of water do we have in our bodies more than 70 percent uh, how much of water do we have in our brains 99 percent so so now now just just go back to moon Waves, water, 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 and tattoos all around. So that means now we have connected this whole magnetic force with moon, water, and our bodies. So what are we doing now? What are we doing now? Are we playing with our bodies? Are we using our body temple, body temple, to make us move ahead in our lives? your decision i would suggest do some research on tattoos first of all do some research on meridians do some research on your energy field or your energy fields or us and then go for a right one because if i if i have a moon cycle so i will be going through that uh, change also internally now okay if i'm alone i'm isolated no issues 
But if I have a family, I have friends, I'm working, I have bosses, I have a circle. Now, what am I doing? I'm affecting myself. And because of my energy field, I'm affecting my atmosphere, my whole environment. So I'm bothered, not because of me, they are bothered. And because of us, the whole system is screwed up. Now, let's go to another side of tattoos. If I have a tattoo uh, of a flower or I don't know if you have angel guides or like gods and gurus and masters. If you have tattoos of such kind of elements, so you're constantly reminded of, of, of this kind of an energy field. So what will you do? Whenever you look, oh, okay, you're looking at your tattoo, okay, fine. Or you're in front of a mirror, you watch your tattoos. So you are reminded of that energy. So whenever you're reminded of something, you act, you behave that way. So if you behave that way, what I just said, the environment is going to reciprocate accordingly. So now there's, there's a side, which is kind of a gray side. There's a positive sun, shine, bright side of life. Choice is yours. Both exist. Both exist. You know, evil exists, good exists. So, so, so it's, it's my choice. What am I choosing? Uh, what's going to be my path of living? So my brand is path of living, so I go for positive path of living, yeah? Uh, but it does not mean that negativity does not exist. It does exist, but ultimately, you got to choose and you have to follow your path. So in, in short, this is what it is. Uh, rest time and it can take hours to, to you know, sit down and talk about what kind of tattoos, uh, uh, what's the meaning of these tattoos. Uh, tell me how, how, how to go about it. Where should I get my tattoos? And okay, something important, uh, one of my, um, um, colleagues asked me, okay, where should I make uh, tattoos? So take care that there, there are nerve endings here. Don't go for your nerve endings, please. Don't do tattoos somewhere where you have sensitive areas. So, so go into areas where you have bones, you have muscles, uh, you have, okay, tissues, you can, you know, use this part, this part. Use that, but don't spoil your body and your systems. Please take care of that. Otherwise, if you if you, if you if you are conscious, then it's okay. If you're not, everything is bullshit. So uh, if you are having a, a name tattoo anywhere in your body, um, concerning a family member, um, you have to see what kind of a relationship I had with that family member. Uh, was it worth it to, to have this name now till I'm going to be living here? S stuck up with me forever or maybe for some years? If yes, go for it. If no, then stop and think again, rethink again, let go. If it's going to affect somebody else, I can't say. How is that ex-partner or that person related to you takes you when you do this action? I don't know. So, so it depends on that person, you know? Is that person open? Is he going to, or is she going to appreciate you if you're doing this kind of an act? If not, there's no need. So in the end, it's, it's up to you. It's your thing, your decision. If this name gives me energy, if this name gives me some power, if this name gives me freshness, if this name gives me positivity, I'm going to have it. And if it does not, then why should I have it? Why? Yeah, why should I uh, print on uh, or, or like uh, carve somewhere in my body uh, which says life is poison? Why? Okay, if I'm a depressive person, fine, then life is poison. And life is nothing is but shit. So I'm going to have all over me because it's a reminder. Okay, now if I say life is beautiful. So beautiful is a name, kind of, you know? That's why, hey, beautiful, how are you? You know, you say that. So, so it's, it's a constant reminder, okay, life is beautiful. Life is beautiful because I'm not a kind of a person who's gonna be just concentrating on my dull 
black, gray, negative side of my life. So that's how it is. With the names, with the signs, with the um, uh, um, uh, yeah, images or forms. It, it, it's a deep science. I mean, it's a deep science, you know? So you got to really rethink. And I would not say just rethink and do it. Rethink, 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 and then do it. Because there are a lot of layers, they're going to you know, show up when you think. Then you rethink, then you rethink, uh, you evaluate, okay, now I can do it. And if you feel now it's the time, go for it.